Good morning, everyone. My name is Vonda Evans, and today I want to take some time out to give my own tribute to the king of Detroit justice, Marlon Blake Evans. For those of you who knew Marlon or did not know Marlon, he was uh, raised and educated in the area of Richton Dexter. Of the 323 people who uh, were to graduate, only 22 of them went to college. He used education to escape the environment that he was raised in. He went on and got his bachelor's and juris doctorate, but he used that same ladder to go back to that community to help people. While many of his counterparts were seeking uh, fame and fortune by going into corporate law or family law, Marlon practiced criminal law because he believed in it. He was the legal voice of those who had been silenced by being charged with crimes and paralyzed by the fear and consequences of their mistakes. He was a gladiator in the courtroom, respected by lawyers, judges, police officers. But Marlon was a no kiss ass man in life and a no kiss ass man in that courtroom. Whenever, when I was on the bench and I heard that a lawyer had gotten locked up, I immediately knew it was Marlon. There was a team that had been assembled, uh, attorney Todd Perkins and Otis Culpepper. They knew that when they saw my number with 911, Marlon was in trouble and they went to his aid. He was willing to compromise his liberty for his clients, for justice for the truth. And he's not going to he was not going to be silenced because he was he believed in what he did and he was passionate. And jurors believed in him also. Time after time, numerous not guilty, not guilty not only in the city of Detroit but throughout the country. Marlon was a man who loved his family. His beautiful wife Nicole, their two children, my two grown children, Lauren and Naomi. But if you knew anything about Marlon Evans, you knew he loved a queen bee. That was Miss Eula. That was his mother. He loved her. He honored her. So many times uh, you could find him uh, in the area of uh, Richton and Dexter, all over the city of Detroit, just being a regular guy. He was a wonderful person. Although we were not married uh, very long, uh, he was a fan of me professionally. I remember there was a situation in which there was a lawyer that was on the elevator and the lawyer, there was a heated discussion. And the discussion was about whether or not to have a bench trial or a jury trial in front of Judge Vonda Evans. And so they said, well, you look like a well-dressed man. Should we have a trial before her as a bench? That meant I would be the trier of fact. They said, he said, absolutely. He says, why? He said, because she's fair. They said, how do you know? As he was exiting off of the elevator, he says, because she's my ex-wife. When many people criticized me when I said to Mr. Bashir during the case, you looking good today, Mr. Bashir. He assured those that would listen. She's got a comeback for him and you're going to be prepared and it's not going to be what you think it is. And to their shock and dismay, I think that I adequately uh, let him know how I felt when I sentenced him. And when I retired, he let me know that I had done a good job, that I had serviced this community and I was so very proud. See, to Marlon, there was no difference between the CEO and the janitor. The only difference was were the choices that they made. I remember one day while I was presiding on the bench, I think it was around Mother's Day, that he said that he had something for me. I was so happy. I was like, oh my goodness, are they wool for stockings? 
He says, no. He said, it's something that is going to reinforce the messages to your litigants. That gift was the picture, choices. It's been seen over millions of times in all of the high publicity cases that I've presided over. But every case that I presided over during that time, that picture was there to reinforce that, that we make choices. Marlon respected President Barack Obama. And one of his famous quotes is this, and I will leave it with you. Change will not come for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the change we seek. Long live the legacy of the king of Detroit justice, Marlon Blake Evans. He will be missed, but never forgotten. His legacy will continue. The marathon continues. Be blessed.